I was born with my heart outside of my chest. I think a big misunderstanding is that I'm really, really fragile or that I'm always in pain, but I'm generally really happy in life. I want to inspire other people and I want people to know that I am more than just my heart. Do you remember this picture? Do you oh, remember yeah, this one? Remember. Yeah? My condition is called pentology of control. It basically means that my heart is outside of my rib cage, so it's not protected by my rib cage anymore. There's no known reason why Versavia's heart is outside of her chest. We don't know what caused this condition. This one, this one is very... Ah, uh, you was about like a week old. They just pulled out the feeding tube of your nose. I remember I was crying so much about that because you, you was crying a lot. And that was, that was hard times, really. Oh, sorry. I found out that Versavia had a condition with her open heart when I was 26 weeks pregnant. And it was, it was a shock for me. I remember I fell on the floor right in the hospital screaming that because I thought she going to die because this is what they thought they told me they told me she will die and she will not survive they told me that I need to get an abortion and they called to not force me but recommend it and of course I I kept her because I loved her people often think that um, since my heart is outside of my body that I feel pain there but I don't. Seeing my heart outside of my body does not necessarily feel like anything because I'm used to it, except it might feel like something to other people, but not to me. So this is my room. This is where I draw and do all my hobbies and do my homework. School is nice, but sometimes it can be hard because the people that know about my condition try to use it against me or make jokes about it in a mean way. So sometimes it could be more difficult. Other times... It's still okay. And other times it's okay, yeah. My condition affects my daily life because I can't do some normal things, like I can't run or I can't walk too fast and I can't go up and down the stairs because my oxygen drops really, really low. I have to use this when my oxygen levels go really low because sometimes they do go under 50 or when I'm having an asthma attack. I think a big misunderstanding is that um, that I'm really, really fragile or that I'm always in pain, but I'm generally really happy in life. My mom and I decided to um, start posting on Instagram about my condition. It's important for me to spread awareness because there are a few others out there that uh, also have similar conditions to me and if they want help from like doctors on it, people should know more about it so that they would learn how to help it or treat it or something along those lines. She's a really good friend. She is so beautiful. She is cool. She never give up. I'm very proud of her. I'm proud of her strength and um, I love her the way she is. I'm grateful for proving the doctors wrong, that I can still eat and walk and be alive. I would like to push my limits on what I can and cannot do because I want to inspire other people and because I want people to know that I am more than just my heart and I am beautiful just the way I am and so are you.